And my duty is to receive all of them because they all have the CV and set the ball board. So Honorable Hati is not the Minister of State for Planning. He wants which position, sir? The Deputy So, Mr. Chairman, I'm very glad, and uh, I can open and say we've given him the regulations. Anybody. That is what I want as a chair. Let us wait for rules to be set, follow the rules. Not this business of parading in the press, running here and there, forming committees, fighting this and the other. There is no one who is going to capsize the NRM Electoral Commission. We are going to follow our strict regulations and offer the best candidate for these positions to compete with these other independents who also want to try. I want to request independents who want to muscle themselves against NRM that the candidates we paraded in primaries and went through and went through the Chigun Electoral Commission are time-tested candidates. Nobody can stand against Honorable Bahati, Honorable Bua Amson, Honorable Jovia Kamateka, Honorable Amongin, Honorable Gaba Abbas for deputy and win with my majority, our majority in NRM. But some said they've already written to the chairperson that the board of the NRM. The chairperson of NRM is the president of Uganda. He's a father. So people always write letters to him. The process is very simple. Write to Chairman NRM Electoral Commission, or both of us doesn't qualify in that one because it's an independent. Okay? Now, as Chairman NRM Electoral Commission, once I present these names in SEC, and SEC endorses one of them, or both of both will then see the fire of Chairman NRM Electoral Commission and team against him because we shall have a flag against him who is in it. And also knowing that the position of the speaker and deputy speaker is at the gateway on our path for the future of this country, uh, I've been uh, called to answer the call of many members in our incoming caucus uh, to offer my service, my experience that I've had for the last nine years, uh, the servant leadership, the philosophy that I've lived in over, over the time, uh, to serve my party and my country as Deputy Speaker uh, of the Republic of Uganda. And uh, I have no doubt that given the experience that I have for nine years as uh, Vice Chairperson uh, of the caucus, uh, Treasurer of the caucus, uh, deputy uh, chief whip of the NRM uh, government uh, and also the other engagements that I've had, the relationship that I've built, uh, I think uh, I will be uh, offering a good candidate. We'll wait to see what SEC uh, says, uh, but I think it's a, a good opportunity for me uh, to answer the call of many members of the 10th parliament who have requested me to stand in and serve my country as Deputy Speaker of this House. This is the work that I've done, uh, by the way, for over nine years as the Vice Chairperson of the caucus. It's almost like a mini caucus. It's a mini parliament.